uh, till 12th standard he has been taught every single thing has been taught to him though it is not taught in the right sense where uh, how it is applicable for example uh, I mean, even till now, many people don't know where they're going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Many, many max theorem, we don't know where we use it. But as architects, I will tell you very, very honestly, every site runs only by Pythagoras theorem. Because in a, in a land, especially in a landscape architect, when there is no benchmark for us, the first thing which we have to do, find out an axis or a reference line is 3, 4, 5. So we have to imaginarily draw a line on the site and find out what is the hypotenuse and then we figure out this is the 90 degrees which we want to start with. And similarly, tails theorem, the similar triangles, these things actually we use it at site because we really don't know like you know what is the uh, you know uh, the parallel uh, angles which will come. So all these things are actually useful and suddenly like you know we, we as landscape architects we do a lot of curves in site and those curves we don't know how to like fix it up. And, and we have learnt in school, like, you know, if there is an arc or a, or a curve, how do we find the centre of that curve? And we draw two chords in that one, bisect the two chords and get a point and that is exactly the centre of it. That is how we do it at site also. Okay. Because today we have theodolite, we have all this total station and stuff like that. We don't know how to figure out all these things. But in reality, yes, we do use same compass method and find out like using uh, line thread and, and all these things and that's how we actually like fix it up at site and we do it.